Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Glyph Goulet, or otherwise known as Becca. Um, if you're new here, then I do kind of dramatic looks with lots of recently multi-chrome pigments and flakes and glitter and everything else. I am not a neutrals person, so yeah, that's never going to happen here, probably. Um, it's always colourful. Anyway, if that sounds like something you like, then subscribe. But anyway, today's look is using the Club Nebula, which is the Angelica, Nick Vist and Kaleidos Cosmetics, what's it called? Collaboration. Um, yeah, so I thought I've already done a look using that palette before and this time I'm using the greens, which I'm very excited about because I love green and I know. But anyway, yeah, I'm using the Club Nebula and I'm using Kama Cosmetics again, um, some Urban Decay Glitter. Uh, yeah, so if you want to see how I got this look here, then just keep watching. Right, I have done a Glam Glow Gravity Mud Mask thing. And then I put um, the Nude Glow Moisturiser on and I didn't want to like it. Because I got like two 15ml ones. I got the 15ml mask and the 15ml moisturiser in a set um, for 25 quid, which I genuinely didn't realise they were going to be 15ml because I'm an idiot. Anyway, um, I really didn't want to like it because of how expensive the full size ones are, but I do like it. I think the moisturiser's really made my skin look nice. And it smells delicious as well, the moisturiser smells really really good but um i do think actually that the moisturizer will last me a while because i literally didn't need to use a lot whatsoever just like a few fingertips and then that was more than enough so i'm gonna prime with my revolution ultimate face in light prime my eyes i've already done my brows and i haven't put a primer on my face like i normally do because I'm going to just use the Glam Glow Moisturiser as a primer and see how, how things go. Alright, so I am going to start with Queen of Blades from the Club Nebula. And I'm going to start packing that all along my crease and the outer crease and making like a winged out shape pigment on these it just instantly goes to such a lovely dark foresty green it's not patchy it doesn't feel hard to work with it's just pretty damn good I've been dying to do a green look with this palette but um I was ill the other week so that's why my videos have kind of halted because um, I haven't been in a state to do makeup really I was just trying to get myself back on my feet um, yeah I don't really know what was wrong with me it kind of felt like a, a bug or something I felt really really nauseous and my whole body ached and then I just didn't feel right for a week. Like, it wasn't like a cold or anything. I don't know what it was. But like, you know, when you just have that feeling of like, you just don't feel right in your own body. Like something just feels off inside. Yeah, it was kind of like that. So I kind of had like a duvet day for a week. Um, and then when I felt a little bit better, I edited the last video that I uploaded. Um, well, not the last one, the one before that. And then I finally did makeup, which was the last video that's uploaded, which was Friday. Um, yeah, but I feel good now. And I've been doing yoga. I've done yoga three days on the trot. Who am I? And it's actually a lot harder than it looks by the way. All right, so oh, I absolutely adore that color. That is such a nice green. It's like a bluey green. 
and look how pigmented it goes on like zero effort it's such a nice color then i'm gonna go in with gravity and i'm gonna blend what i've just done out out with that I'm gonna just go into this um, BH Cosmetics Los Angeles palette um, because it has this like matte green in it, like a pastelish ish, and I just kind of wanna um, see if that will blend out that bright green a little, just make it look a little bit less. I don't know. We'll see kind of the wrong time to be honest I might go get my Beauty Bay palette but yet here I am still using it for the rest of my life I'll continue using it I'm going to go back and move all those colours again and I'm going to make it look a little bit better. I changed my mind, I went and got my Beauty Bay Pastel palette and I'm going to use um, Serenity, which is that green there. I think that um, will go more. I think the tone's a little bit more sensible for this look. The other one was a bit more of a bluey tone, so I'm gonna use this as the last one to blend out rather than the other one from the BH Cosmetics palette. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a small brush. I got this one from Beauty Bay. It wasn't exactly what I thought it was because the pictures don't really it was more flat and like uh, firm rather than that but um yeah i'm gonna go in with my vaseline to map out the shape that i want and then i'm gonna clean it up with a cotton bud Okay, I'm going to go in with my Revolution cut crease canvas and map out my cut crease. Right, I'm going to fill in that bit I've just cut the crease with, with Serenity that I used to blend out the outer edges of my look. 
Um, so I'm just going to fill that in. Um, yeah, fill that in. And then I'm going to go in with the gorgeous shade Firefly to put on top of that. I'll see how it goes on dry and then I'll see if it looks, looks better wet. I just went ahead and tapped a little bit of Nova on there. Um, just for a little bit of more different colours going on because this is like a purpley ultraviolet shimmer. I thought maybe that would be quite nice. Right, I'm gonna go in I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D tattoo liner and I'm gonna put a little line um, like quite a thick line. and then getting smaller towards the inner corner. I've literally just done this on a whim, so we'll see how this goes. And then just make this like tie in so it doesn't just look like a black line. I'm gonna go back in with I'm gonna go back in with Queen of Blades on like a slanted brush. And I'm gonna cover cover that end bit with that. And I also need to bring that in slightly. If you just cover the end with a with a shadow then it doesn't look like the liner just suddenly appears out of nowhere if you know what I mean. And then I want that flip. This is just not working out how I thought it would. Ugh, oh well, hopefully I like it more when I've got my base on. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to put something on that liner I've just done. And I've got two options. I've got Barry M Holographic Eyeshadow Top Up in Supernova, which I'm nearly running out of. And I found out that they've discontinued these and I'm absolutely pissed because I love these so much. Um, or Kamer Cosmetics in Aquamarine and I have my egg cup so I can turn it into a paste. Hmm. I think I might do Kamer Cosmetics. Shocker. Can't stop myself. Right, so I'm going to put two drops of this pigment mixer into my egg cup, my clean egg cup, obviously. Oh, oh, so messy. Um, and then spoon some flakes in there, give it a mix. Oh, I just breathed and they went everywhere. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Okay, and then you kind of get this sort of looking paste. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna put the bloody lid back on that first before I blow it all away. And then
Oh yes, this was a good idea. Cell five. Oh, it's so beautiful. Probably mixed up too much here, but that's fine. In love with this. All right, I'm gonna let this dry a bit. Okay, pretty good. All right then. Oh, this stuff is everywhere. Oh my God, it's floating in just like space and time. And then I'm gonna take my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liner in Distortion and I'm gonna line this bit with it. I'm gonna um, use my REM high vis eyeliner in strobe light, which is a very lovely green and needs sharpening by the looks of it. Oh, yeah, definitely needs sharpening. Alright, I'm gonna go and do my base. Um, and I'm back. Today I have used the Kaleidos Space Age Prophecy Highlight and yes I still absolutely adore it. Considering it has a gold, uh, green shift in there I thought appropriate. Isn't it beautiful? Right, I'm going to put the Space Age Prophecy Highlighter on my brow bone because why not? I've used the MUA blush in Misty Rose again because it's beautiful. I just think it seems like such a natural um, flush on your face. I think it looks very nice. Personally, I'm going to go back in with Lip Queen of Blades. Basically, just doing exactly what we did on top. Right in the inner corner. Tie all of that in. And then mascara, which is the Benefit Magnetic Lashes one.
so yeah that is the finished look as you know um yeah i'm very happy with how it turned out um i think my base is looking really good um i did actually put becca backlight primer on i did say that i was just going to use leave the moisturizer from the glam glow on as a base but i didn't because i thought like by the time i got around to doing my base i thought like the moisturizer kind of gone away like soaked in so i wanted to actually put a primer on so i did that one because it's a glowy one um and then i used my nars Longwear radiant foundation um used the mua liquid blush again which is really 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 good highly recommend them they're only three pounds i literally just use a brush put it put some on my hand dab a brush in and blend it out and then if i feel like it's gone a bit too pigmented i just um use my I use my sponge that I've already used my foundation with just to like make it like mute it down a little bit and yeah I'm really happy with how it's come out. As always I'm very happy with my Kaleidos highlighters, uh, they never disappoint me, they always just look so amazing. Um, I've used the Space Age Prophecy one and yeah it is blinding and I just think it just goes because obviously it has a green shift so I think it kind of goes with um, the look and plus you know using Club Nebula why not use more colloidal stuff um yeah i'm not good at ombre lips obviously um try to do like black and green ombre but it didn't work because i don't know what i'm doing but um yeah i'm very pleased with it i'm very pleased with how that came out the came cosmetics um flakes just using the pigment mixer turning it into a paste i think that's a really really good way to go to use those gorgeous flakes as a liner um yeah i think they look really really pretty on there and yeah i'm very 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 pleased the club nebula worked beautifully they blend out so easily um i did use a light green from the beauty bay pastel palette just to blend out that bright green just a little bit but i think my favorite color of today was the what was it called it was the first color i used um the bluey green the dark bluey green that is such a beautiful color and yeah it just doesn't go um it doesn't go patchy or anything it's so pigmented and it blends beautifully i think it's such such a nice color um yeah i think all of these shades just complement each other really well and angelica just did a really 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 good job with this palette um yeah so i really 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 pleased how it came out um yeah other than that i think that's pretty much everything that i've used to speak about um but yeah other than that if you liked this look and this video then please let me know by giving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i have other social media which is my instagram my facebook and my twitter and yeah if you want to subscribe follow to all of those then i will be very happy with you um and then i also have a tiktok and i'm on other video platforms which will be linked down below in the description so yeah other than that i'm gonna go because i feel like i've been sat here all day um and yeah i'll see you in the next video okay bye